hello hello my friends and welcome back to my channel so I know I am mostly kind of a DIY other random stuff channel but I wanted to introduce some more booktube videos into my channel because I love reading so much and I love writing and I love all things books and so that's what I'll be doing today so at the beginning of the summer I challenged myself to read at least one book a week so that kind of failed a little bit a little but the weeks I didn't read a book, I made up for in other weeks. So for the month of July, I will be talking to you, doing a little book talk about the books I've read. I don't know why I'm talking with my hands so much. But yes, about the books that I've read and my opinions and whether or not I would recommend them and kind of what they're about and everything. So yeah. Also, just to uh, shamelessly self-promote a teeny weeny bit, um, <laughs> if you want to follow my art account at SpiderRen on Instagram, I've decided that I'm drawing at least one character from every single book I read this summer. So if you want to go see some bookish fan art from yours truly, you can go follow that. Okay, now we can get into the rest. <laughs> so I read mostly YA. Um only YA. <laughs> and most of these books are fantasy. Um, I have one contemporary because I don't really read contemporary too often. Um, actually, drop some suggestions for your favorite YA contemporary novel that's not like fantasy or sci-fi or anything because I do want to get back into reading more contemporary because I haven't in such a long time. So yes, please drop your favorite down below. So I guess I'm just going to go through the so I guess I'm just going to start with the order that I read them in. So a few of these are sequels, but the book I read first in the month of July is Undying by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Um, the, first book, book, the first book in this series is called Unearthed, and it was fantastic. The sequel was just as good. Um, Unearthed is kind of very space and like sci-fi and history. It's so cool. It's kind of like an Indiana Jones like mystery kind of thing. The cliffhanger at the end is fantastic. The first book is absolutely fantastic. If you haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. I really enjoy the characters. There's one character who's like a scavenger and she's super cool and edgy and like beats people up and ooh, super cool. Um, and then there's another, her counterpart, the POV switch back and forth, and he is more academic and everything and he's so smart and Yes, it's really good. It's about aliens and fun stuff like that. I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. If I had to rate it out of 10, the sequel and like, the series as a whole, because this book wraps up the series. It's just the two books. I'd give this book at least a 9.5. This book is fantastic and I love it. And, and yes, so that is Unearthed or Undying. The second book I read this July is Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. So this is also a sequel. The first book is Renegades. It's about a girl who joins a team of superheroes, but she's secretly a villain fighting against this team. And it's really cool to get in the head of a villain and her motivations. And it also is told in Adrian's point of view, who is a member of the Renegades team, the superhero team, who also has his kind of own secret and his own plot twist. I don't want to give away too much because I'm not sure what's common knowledge cause anymore because this is the sequel. Um, but that book is really good. I love the team dynamics. They're so good. The characters are really great and really thought out and the world building is very good in this book. And I love superheroes so much. <laughs> so you can't go wrong with a book like this. If I had to rate this out of 10, I would probably give it maybe like an 8 or so. Um, there are some things that bother me about this book, just kind of with like timing and what you find out. And you're just kind of like screaming because you want something to happen and then it never happens. And <laughs> the third book in this series is coming out this November, I think. And I'm really excited for it. So I really did enjoy this book and I can't read. Can't read. Nice. What up? <laughs> uh, yes, so I am very excited to read the third book, Supernova, in this series. The next three books I read in July is the Caraval, 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 Caraval series by Stephanie Garber. This series is absolutely fantastic. I love it so much. This is probably one of my absolute new favorite series of all time. I love it. So I actually read the first book in this series last summer, and then I picked up Legendary, the second book, 
literally as soon as I finished that one, I started reading it the next day and I could not for the life of me get into it. I tried to read this stupid book so many times last year. Um, I work at a bookstore so we're allowed to like check books out. I swear I renewed this book um, so many times and I never got into it. And then I was on a trip and I didn't know what book to get at Barnes & Noble and so I picked this one up and thought I'd give it one final shot. And after I got past like the first chapter, I absolutely fell in love with this book. And I think I honestly liked it more than the first. The narrator, um, it's a different narrator between this two. I don't want to say who it is because it might be a little bit of a spoiler um, for the first book if you haven't read it. But I love this narrator. And actually, Finale switches between the two narrators for the first and second book. And they're so good. The love story is perfect. It's fantasy. It's magic. It's the fates. Um, the first book, Caraval, Caraval, um, is fantastic. It's about this traveling carnival kind of thing that has magic and you don't want to get yourself too invested in this game because it's only a game, but it's not really only a game. And, oh, oh, this book is so good. I recommend this series so much. It made me completely fall in love with reading again and I just, oh. It was amazing. So yeah, I finished these two books and then I missed the first book so much that I went and reread this one. So I read these three next. Rating this series out of 10, I would give it such a solid 10. It made me sob at the end because my heart was so full. Oh, so good. I so, so, so recommend this series. If you love fantasy and you love magic and it's so fun. It's just a really fun, fun series. So yes, I do recommend this. It's full of twists and turns and so many fun things. Yes. And the last book I read this July, I don't actually have a copy of, but it was The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. Poston? Post? I don't know. Um, this book, I don't think I've ever loved or hated a book so much together. They, it's told in two point of views, um, it switches back and forth. I really loved the one, and I really, really did not like the other. <laughs> it's a spin-off of The Prince and the Pauper Tale, um, and it's also a companion novel to Geekerella. I read Geekerella last year, I absolutely loved that book. Um, it's so like fandom based, and I am obviously a fandom girl myself. If you've seen my Instagram, or if you've seen my YouTube at all, I am clearly a fandom girl, but this book... The Princess and the Fangirl takes it to a whole new level. There's like fandom references like every sentence, like the one main character, like she refers to people by like their Hogwarts houses. They're like, oh, you Hufflepuff. Ah. And that's just not for me. It felt like I was kind of reading a fanfic. Um, that being said, I really, really loved the one character's point of view. Um, I like fed head over heels, fed head over heels, fell head over heels in love with this character. She was so inspiring. She gave like a monologue at the end that made my heart hurt. It was just like basically, oh, it was so good. So I do recommend this book um, if you can like kind of get past the whole like fandom thing or if you like are into it. Like if you call people out of the Hogwarts house, then like, sure. I feel like I'm a little old for it. I'm 21 now. I'm a freaking adult. And I felt like I was just kind of reading um like more of a middle school book. I don't know if it was like middle school. That being said, I am reading YA, so I don't know what I expected. Um, I did prefer Geekerella to this book, but I did really like this book when it comes down to it. I would also give this book like a 7.8. Like, I don't know. This book is hard because I really loved half of it. Ugh. I don't know. I'm not going to rate this one because <laughs> I am indecisive and I cannot. So... So yeah, those are all the books I read for the month of July. I hope you got some new recommendations. Comment down below if you've read any of these series and what you think about them. I would love to hear your opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay hydrated, stay healthy, and stay happy most of all. And I will see you next week.